So we want to know why wouldn't a monopolist operate at inelastic demand region. So what is basically inelastic demand? That means elasticity of demand less than 1. But what's the relation of elasticity with total revenue? So when the elasticity of demand is less than 1, in that case when price increases of course the quantity decreases according to the law of demand but in case of inelastic demand the total revenue will change in uh, the direction of the price means it will increase so that means if I want to find out the relationship between quantity and total revenue so I can say in other words that when the elasticity of demand is less than one so with the decrease in quantity total revenue increases and on the other hand with increase in quantity total revenue decreases but when the elasticity of demand is more than one means it is elastic demand in that case the relationship is the same direction relationship means when the total quantity increases total revenue increases and when the quantity decreases total revenue decreases okay so on the x-axis I have taken output means quantity demanded on the y-axis I have taken revenue in both the curves so in this above region I, I can see the first diagram over here I have shown with the red line this red curve is basically the total revenue so you guys observe that total revenue is increasing initially and uh, decre uh, it, uh, it is at peak over here and it starts decreasing after this point so as we keep on increasing our output total revenue is increasing from uh, say O to point A okay so up to A total revenue increases as quantity increases what does that mean that means it is changing in the same direction of elasticity means up to A elasticity of demand is more than one okay but after A what happens as the quantity increases total revenue decreases which is this particular case where the elasticity of demand is less than one means this is in elastic region and this is elastic region of the um, uh, of firms uh, for the firms total revenue uh, case now I want to find out the marginal revenue based on our total revenue so for finding out the marginal revenue curve I have extended this output line from A to the second uh, figure so this is my output level and one more thing is clear that the marginal revenue curve is uh, just a downward sloping curve so let us draw the marginal revenue curve for the firm so this is this blue curve is our marginal revenue curve so what do you observe you observe until the point A where elasticity of demand is more than one our marginal revenue is positive okay but when we cross the point A the elasticity of demand becomes less than one but at this point A although the marginal revenue is touching the x-axis so is zero but after this point what do you observe that marginal revenue has become negative means in the region where elasticity of demand is less than one means demand is less elastic marginal revenue is going to be negative and no monopolist would like to have a negative marginal revenue so this is the reason why a monopolist will not operate at the inelastic demand region